hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video we are going to start with the new topic that is laravel 8 admin panel for blogging website so guys we are going to use laravel framework to build a blogging website so guys now let's see one demo so here we are seeing that fund of bit.com domain and the same blogging application we are going to make in laravel 8 so guys first we are going to start with the admin panel setup in this video okay so guys let's get started so let me just close this and yep so first step let's move with the installation part on the laravel dock so we are on the version 8 right now and here you move you can see that install via composer if you click copy the command and just install it via composer so i have already installed the package with the name laravel blog okay yep let me close this so successfully installed and here is a fresh application with the name laravel blog done guys and now let me just open this and serve the artisan let's tap php artisan serve done so it started so let's move hit enter so localhost 8000 perfect so our application is perfectly installed guys so now guys let's begin with integrating the admin panel in our laravel application so first step let's go to our google chrome where you can find with the bootstrap 5 admin template okay and now let's move below here we find a free bootstrap 5 admin dashboard let's click on this this is startbootstrap.com so you can find one sb admin tool but we'll not move on with this we will we are going to move with um admin dashboard where you'll find this sb admin okay so let's open this and download it so free download done let me just extract and open this in editor so here guys i have extracted the file and just open the index.html file double click on it and here you'll find your output done guys so same dashboard you are going to integrate in our laravel application so over here so we will be starting like slash admin and slash dashboard okay so in this format when you open this file you should get your admin dashboard so guys let's begin to build this so yep let's get back to our template open in the vs code editor so let's open in the new editor okay so now let's open the index.html and now guys this code we are going to integrate in our laravel admin panel okay so let's get back to a laravel application so guys now let's set up with the database and your login layouts and all okay so when you go to resource views here all your layouts should be set up then only we can set up with our admin panel okay if you directly set up we are going to miss the professional codes so you should need to follow up with this so first step guys let's uh, move to our dot env file and set your database so my database name let me just show you i have opened my php my admin so let's set over here database name username root password is null and now guys let's save and here you see okay restarted let's close this now guys let's open our terminal step two to install our layouts so that means which installs with the laravel auth package so composer require laravel forward slash ui hit enter perfect so guys our package is successfully installed and now let's install the login and registration system in laravel 8 so php artisan ui colon auth auth so hit enter done generated let me just minimize this and let's move to resource views here you find your auth and layouts that data okay so guys now let's this terminal and start with your 
admin dashboard integration in Laravel 8. So first step, let's go to routes, web.php and let me just remove this commented codes. Here we begin with our route. So first we are going to set up a prefix. So using group, group where we are going to set prefix as admin right now and route for get method where we will set up with the dashboard give comma and call your controller guys so for the controller process you have to call the path admin then go to dashboard controller all set colon colon class and i want to go to index function so we need to create this right so yep here you when you go to app http controller you don't find that admin folder over there right so you need to create that so first let's comment this and let's give a command php artisan make colon controller where admin folder forward slash and then dashboard controller so hit enter and here you find that admin folder is created with the dashboard controller done and now guys as we have mentioned create a function with the name index function all set and let's return and i want to view the page of the inside admin folder i want to create a dashboard blade.php file all set so as you can find let's uncomment this done guys so this index function is found over here so for testing purpose let's check the route first return i am dashboard save and let's get back here let's call the path so admin forward slash then dashboard so let's get back to our served application admin slash dashboard okay hit enter i am dashboard perfect so yep let's remove this and view the page so guys for this you need to go to your resource views and create one folder name admin and inside this admin folder you have to create with the name dashboard.blade.php file all set so now guys uh, let's begin with integrating our admin template bootstrap template in our laravel application so guys for that let's extend the layouts so you can find one layout called app.blade.php so this will keep for the front end purpose but we want for the dashboard so you can keep a master blade.php okay so let's make that master.blade.php and go back to your app.blade.php file and copy few codes so you can just copy all the code over here from the head tag to body tag so let me just remove all the unwanted codes and get back to your app.blade.php here you copy the body part and end the body part all set so now guys let's create one inc folder to include the navbar inc and inside this i want to create a file with the admin navbar.blade.php so this will be the admin navbar next file admin sidebar.blade.php all set so let me just show you the view now guys let's get back to our template so here you find some links so which is all about one all.min.js that is your font awesome and then your style.css here okay so let's include this copy and paste in your master so let's move to master paste that let's get back and this style.min.css file so let's move and go to 
CSS and this is your style.css. So let's copy this file and paste inside your application called Lara blog where we have create a folder guys. So I'm going to create one folder with the name assets and inside this assets I'm going to create a CSS folder inside the assets folder. Let's create one more folder with the name JS. So inside this CSS, let's paste the style.css. Okay. So let's get back to our application where you can find asset CSS and that style.css. So you can call the path assets forward slash CSS, then style.css. All set. Done. And now guys let's get back and see below let me just uncomment and here you find some other data so from here you just need the bootstrap bundle.css script.js file okay so these two files we require and these two and these are are nothing but your data tables and your charts so we will integrate it later okay so let's copy this and integrate that in your master blade so yep now we want to integrate this in our application itself so copy this url copy this url and browse that so first let's create the file copy and move to your laravel application and move inside your js file folder and create a bootstrap bundle and paste the code guys Control ac copy and paste here that's it and just remove this commented code because it throws an error called map not found so now let's close this and you have to call the correct path so let me just copy this and paste here So let's control X paste. You can just go to assets JS and bootstrap bundle min.js file. All set. And for this also, you're going to place it. You can remove this not required. So under JS folder. You need to find the script.js. So let's move to that template start bootstrap go to js and copy this both file because we are going to use this in future let's copy this and paste inside the js folder all set so yep let's remove this and you find this code also script.js done guys now let's get back to our template so here you find when you minimize this you find the nav bar and let's copy this let's minimize it and go to your resource views layouts here inside inc we have created an admin nav bar paste that all set so you are going to include this in your master blade.php file at include open and close where you're going to tell layouts and see navbar all done and then guys you're going back to your template where you find the layout side nav okay let me just this is your side nav and this is your content part main div and set up here let's close the div done and now let's copy and paste and call the sidebar all set so inside the sidebar we are moving and copy the sidebar code so this is my side nav let's copy this and paste it all set so this is your side nav now let's go to our master blade.php file and here we should take this code 
let me just minimize this bin dashboard let's copy this code guys and paste that inside your sidebar okay so this is your sidebar and here your main content comes and let's end this main so i'm going to end the main and for this div let's end the div also all done and we see that some other footer part is pending so after the main your footer part comes so let's copy this code footer part and paste after the main tag so let's keep this also in our ANSI folder you can just create new file and call admins footer.blade.php hit enter paste this code and get back to your master copy and paste footer all set so over here your content comes so let's yield this okay y i e l d yield function where we will tell content all done guys now let me just see whatever we are pending with here okay so nothing is there let's move with the code inside of your main tag here you find some codes let's copy this and let's move to our dashboard which we have created over here so first step guys let's extend our master so you can add use the add symbol extend where you are going to tell layouts dot master dot blade dot php okay so master just include and call the section that is content and end this section and section perfect so just paste this code and let's end this div row copy and paste so div row ended and for this container div end copy and paste all set so guys now let's get back to a laravel app okay here it is let me just close all the let's refresh perfect okay so our data has come but our css is not matching i think we, our css missed let's go and let's move to our master blade okay style.css included but let's check out once assets css and here you find styles.css okay so we have missed the spelling over here it's styles.css and refresh boom okay so now guys let's set up with this uh, our title over here let's move to masterblade.php file and here at this title instead of laravel we want the different different titles right so you can just add y i e l d yield where you can tell title so let's copy this title and go to your dashboard you can just call that at section title where you can just directly call or else you can end the section also so blog dashboard save and you can check over here refresh here you find blog dashboard perfect so guys in this video that's it and we have successfully integrated our admin panel in laravel 8 application for blogging website okay so guys let's continue next video with the login and registration system of this dashboard and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share